So good morning to those in the part of the country where it's still morning and good afternoon to those on the East Coast. Um, just to introduce myself, my name is Miriam Tischler. I am one of the co-founders of Ginger and Juice Bar. Um, for those that don't know our story, I'm just going to go through a, a quick um, background of um, how we came to open and how we came to, to launch our Smoothie Sisters Live classes. So um, my sister and I, Becca, who's the other owner of the Juice Bar, we had been wanting to open up a healthy alternative to fast food, um, something along the lines of our Juice and Smoothie Bar for almost a decade. Um, and finally, we got really um, into the planning uh, about a year and a half ago. And we actually opened our doors in our first location on March 1st, 2020 uh, in South Miami. I'm sure you know where this is going, but COVID-19 um, hit, hit the U.S. And unfortunately, 18 days after we opened, we did have to temporarily close. Uh, so with that, we still wanted to bring uh, healthy recipes and different tips and tricks around nutrition. Um, to the whole community, you know, whether it's the United States and beyond. I know we have some people from Canada join and Australia. So we really just wanted to, to bring um, nutrition and healthy recipes to you uh, with our free live, live Zoom classes, which is uh, how we launched Smoothie Sisters Live. So we're doing these every Wednesday and Sunday. I do the Sunday classes and my sister Becca does um, the Wednesday classes. So a few people have asked, you know, how we can um, get support while we're closed. So we did open up some donations. So we do have a, a Venmo and PayPal. Um, the classes are completely free, um, but if you want to donate, um, I think my, uh, my sister Becca will put the links in the chat. And then they'll also be in the email after class I send with the full recipe that we go over on class in class today. Um, so, while I'm mentioning the chat, as I'm going through my recipe, um, if you have any questions at all about any of the ingredients I mentioned, um, any really anything at all, you can just type your question in the chat. And while this smoothie is blending a little later on, I'll come check the chat and I can um, hopefully respond to all of your questions. So with that said, uh, today we will be making a fun creation that I started drinking most times after my workouts, it's kind of my after workout smoothie. It's a really good meal replacement um, and it's refreshing after you have a, a hard workout. But even if you're not working out, um, you can still have this smoothie at any time. It's a, a really great smoothie and not super sweet, which is nice for a change because a lot of smoothies tend to be really high in sugar and really sweet. So this one has um, a little bit more hidden vegetables in it, which we'll get to. So with that said, we're going to make my after-workout poly smoothie today. So some of the ingredients we're using, we have oat milk, almond butter, cinnamon, blueberries, uh, pineapple, cauliflower, and then a little bit of vanilla protein powder. So first I'm going to start with one cup of oat milk. So typically when I make my smoothies, I either use almond milk or oat milk. Those are just my preferences. Um, since this smoothie is a bit more filling, more of a meal replacement. I am going to use the oat milk because it's a little bit thicker. Um, almond milk tends to be a little bit more watery, but you can really use any milk of your, of your choosing in any of these recipes. So, you know, it might just change the flavor a little. So if you're a really big fan of coconut milk, you can certainly use coconut milk, but it'll have more of a, a coconut flavor. If you prefer dairy milk, you can use dairy milk. You can use almond milk, oat milk, hemp milk, cashew milk, there's all sorts of milks you can use. But for this one, I am going to use oat milk. Um, something I do like to mention is always make sure you shake your milk um, before you use it, because sometimes things do settle to the bottom. And the second thing I want to mention is I always make sure to buy the unsweetened milk. So if you're buying almond milk, oat milk, hemp milk, whatever it is, you really don't need that added sugar that it, that's in like the vanilla flavors or even the original has a sweetened version. Because when you make smoothies, or even if you have your milk with like cereal or oatmeal, those things are typically already sweetened. So you really don't need the added sugar from the milk. So always make sure to buy the unsweetened version. So I'm going to go ahead and put one milk in my blender, or one cup of milk in the blender. 
Um, if you've been on our episodes before, you know we always remind you to put the uh, milk or whatever liquid first in the blender. The reason for that is because when you add the frozen ingredients and other big ingredients on top, if you don't have the milk on the bottom, it'll be harder for your blender to get going and start blending. Uh, so do make sure to put your milk or your coconut water or whatever you're using as a liquid and as the base on the bottom. Um, so next I'm going to add one tablespoon of almond butter. So I um, just get my almond butter at Costco because I, I love my nut butters and I go through it pretty quickly. Uh, so Costco is the best place um, for me that I get my uh, butters from. So almond butter is great because it really has those healthy fats we hear about. So what are the healthy fats? They're the monounsaturated fats that are really important for your body um, to get those healthy fats in your diet. Um, something great about them is they can help to lower cholesterol. So one tablespoon of this delicious item, that almond butter, can go a long way. And I just scooped one tablespoon directly from the container and um, stuck it right in. We're good to go. Another thing is you definitely never want to put your uh, nut butters first in the blender and then put milk on top because then that butter is just going to stick to the blender and it won't really blend up well. So Next, I am going to add a quarter of an avocado. So for this recipe, I have three other frozen ingredients. So I'm actually going to use fresh avocado for this recipe. Um, Something I did want to mention is we typically always have avocado in the household because we love it. It's a great addition to salads. I love it on rice cakes. We pretty much always have an open avocado, which you can see it's wrapped in tin foil. So a little trick for you. I I mean, you hate when your avocado turns brown, right? So I've gone through all sorts of different tests to try and figure out how to get my avocados to last longer. And what I've been doing for, gosh, probably the past five years is because typically I only use a quarter of an avocado at a time. So all I do is I have my avocado, I leave, I cut it in half, I leave the pit on one side, I take you know whatever amount I want, and then I just put it back together, leave it, leave the pit in, and then I wrap it in aluminum foil. And you can see this avocado I opened, honestly, I think like two or three days ago, it still looks really good. It hasn't turned really brown and mushy, um, so it's a really great way to preserve your food um, and your avocado. We don't like waste in our household. So always leave the pit in and then wrap it in the aluminum foil and try it out and let me know how it works. Post on your Insta stories or send us a message after you try it out and let us know if that, if that helps to last a little longer. So, so I already have a quarter of av an avocado ready. So I'm just going to cut it right out of the skin and throw it in the blender. All right. So avocados, I love them. They're so nutritious. They contain so many nutrients. It's the list is crazy. They have like 20 different vitamins and minerals. Um, some of the more um, prominent ones are like vitamin K, folate, vitamin C, and potassium. But there's like 20 different vitamins uh, in avocados. So they're a great source of nutrition for you and they're delicious. All right, so I added my quarter avocado. Next, I'm going to add one cup of frozen wild blueberries, hence the wild. So I did have blueberries in my episode from last week as well. Uh, but for those that weren't on, always purchase wild blueberries if you see them available. Um, the, the price is honestly about the same, and they have double the antioxidants as the normal conventional blueberries. Um, so definitely always opt for wild blueberries if you have them. I get a giant bag just at my local Safeway. Um, they tend to always have them there. And they're delicious. I love them. So um, one cup of wild blueberries going in the blender. The so blueberries are awesome. Um, they have so much fiber in them, which is great. It's really important for your digest digestive digestive health um, to keep things healthy and moving as they should. Um, so definitely, you know, add blueberries into your diet, whether it be in a smoothie. I also love adding them into like my cereal. Sometimes I have like bran flakes with uh, some blueberries and almond milk. Great snack, um, great way to get fiber. So next, um, I have one cup of frozen cauliflower. 
Yes, you heard me. We are having a cup of cauliflower in our smoothie today. So I just buy the frozen cauliflower. It's already chopped up, ready to go at Trader Joe's. Um, this one is actually multicolored. So I have some purple cauliflower. I have yellow cauliflower. It's a great um, vegetable to add to your smoothies. And it, it doesn't really change the flavor, but it still gives you a really great consistency. So bananas are something we often add to smoothies. And I found that cauliflower is a great substitution for banana when you don't want as much fruit or sugar. Um, and you still get that really nice smoothie texture, like that creamy texture that you want in a smoothie. So cauliflower are, I mean, it's a great vegetable. They're low in calories and very high in nutrients. It's a really, really great addition to your smoothie. And since we have fruit in the smoothie as well and almond butter, it doesn't really change the flavor of a smoothie. So even for kids, it's a great addition to the smoothie and it doesn't turn the smoothie green. I know if you've been on past episodes, we always like to add spinach to our smoothies or kale, um, <clears throat> but cauliflower doesn't really change the color and it, it adds so many nutrients, which is great. So I'm going to add one cup of frozen cauliflower. If you don't want to buy frozen cauliflower, you can certainly also just buy the full head of cauliflower and freeze it similar to what we do, excuse me, similar to what we do with other vegetables as well, like spinach, you can very easily just freeze, freeze whatever you want if you buy it fresh. So next, to add a little bit of sweetness to our smoothie, I'm going to add just one third cup of frozen pineapple. So it's really just a little bit, but it gives you that nice sweetness from the pineapple. Uh, pineapple is very rich in vitamin C, so it's a great addition to your smoothie. It tastes great, gives it a little bit of that tang. Um, so I'm going to add one third cup of my pineapple. All right. So next, I am going to add one scoop of vanilla protein powder. So this is really something that can be optional. Um, so protein is great if you protein powder is great if you don't have enough of it already in your diet. But there is such a thing as having too much protein. Um, I know for years people, you know, had heard that protein, 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 more protein is better. But that's really not always the case. There's been a lot of studies that have come out recently that there is such a thing as too much protein. So if you already have a really high um, protein diet, then you can definitely just omit the vanilla protein powder from this recipe. So some things that can happen if you have too much protein, it can really affect your kidneys. It can cause constipation, dehydration, just things that we really want no part of. So um, the, the typical thing um, is about, it's like 0.36 grams of protein is needed per pound of body fat uh, or body weight, but that can really depend depending on how active you are, um, you know, what your lifestyle is like, whether you're more active or sedentary. So there's all sorts of great tools online to see the proper number or proper amount of protein you should have every day. Um, so certainly check out one of those uh, websites. I'll, I'll be happy to send a link as well when I send the recipe after class so you can determine uh, what amount of protein you need. So for me, I actually, this is going to be my first meal of the day. I haven't eaten yet today. So I am going to have some protein and um, I'm going to save this smoothie for after my workout. So I'm going to do in my nice workout after this class. Um, I'm going to do Camp Spit. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I know Meredith, I believe Meredith does them, and I know Becca and Mark do. Uh, so I'm gonna do my camp spit in a bit, and then I'm gonna save this and have it after. So it'll be a really nice, um, hearty meal replacement for after my workout to help, to help my muscles recover. So I am adding my one scoop of vanilla protein. Um, last ingredient I'm adding is cinnamon. So a lot of our smoothies include cinnamon because it is such a great spice to add. It gives such a nice flavor to the smoothies and it had it's loaded with antioxidants and there's essentially no calories. So it's just a win-win here. Uh, cinnamon is an awesome seasoning all around. You can see I buy it from uh, the big one from Costco. I go through cinnamon like a crazy person. I put it in my protein pancakes. I put it in, sometimes I'll make stir fries with it, um, but you can make it baked apples with cinnamon and Last but not least, smoothies. We love adding cinnamon to the smoothies. So um, it's totally up to you. You can either just shake it into the smoothie directly or you can measure it out. 
Uh, for this smoothie, I am going to put half a teaspoon. Um, always do a little bit of a heaping teaspoon because extra cinnamon is never a bad thing. So I am adding my half teaspoon of cinnamon. Uh, like I said, it adds really great flavor um, and antioxidants with really no calories. So it's, it's a really great ingredient to add. So I am going to go ahead and blend everything up. Uh, the blender I use personally is my Vitamix, and there is a smoothie setting on the blender, so it's real easy. I just turn the, the button to smoothie and press start. Um, most blenders do have a smoothie setting, but if not, you can just go to, you know, maybe setting number three or four, whatever, whatever it might be. Obviously, the more frozen ingredients you have, the higher up you'll want to put the setting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press blend. It might be a little loud. But in the meantime, I'll come check the chat to see if there's any questions. If there isn't any questions, just write a note. Say, hey, what are you doing today? Um, you know, love to hear from you guys. So, all right. All right, so that is blending. Let's see what's going on. Oh, good. Just from Aslan, I'm glad you got in. Okay, well, no question. Hopefully that means that I explained things well and I know I have yeah, very cool on the avocado. Um, if anyone tries it, please let me know. Tag us in your picture of the avocado. So it's a, a really great message. Oh, I'm leaving. I love you too, baby. I miss you so much. It's just about blended. I'm going to go back and check it out. All right. So I am going to pour um, the smoothie into this glass. You can see it made a really nice bluish purple color. So I'm going to pour it in here. Um, not only is it creamy and a nice texture from the cauliflower, but avocado gives such a nice creamy texture to smoothies. So this is what it looks like. Um, even though I'm saving most of it for after my workout, of course I have to taste it because it looks great. So let's see how it is. Mmm, guys, it is so good. It really is so, so good. Um, a couple of things I want to mention, reusable straw. We are huge at Ginger and Juice Bar. Jar ginger and juice bar on reusable straws. Um, typically in smoothies, we like to use the silicone ones because they are um, a little bit bigger. You can certainly use the metal or bamboo as well, but those are a bit skinnier, um, so it's harder to drink the smoothie. So certainly get the silicone ones. I got mine on Amazon. Um, they're a really affordable price. I actually think Groupon might have some as well. Um, so certainly look into getting some reusable silicone straws. Um, if you do make this smoothie, please tag us on Instagram or Facebook. We love to see your creation. Uh, we love to see your reusable straws. Um, so if you make it, certainly tag us so we can share it to our story as well. Um, and then also, if you're not already following us on social media, please make sure to follow us at Ginger and Juice Bar. Um, so as I mentioned at the beginning, I will be sending the full recipe after class with the different proportions and the, um, also the link. So if you want to check how much protein you should be having in a day, you can certainly just do that. It's really easy to do and great information. So one announcement I did want to mention before we all hop off is we have a really exciting class on Wednesday. So the next class is Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern time, and we have a special guest host. So her name is Tanya Willis. Um, she is the author of the book, Cookie Dough in the Dark. And this book um, talks about, you know, eliminating and helping your sugar cravings with smoothies. Um, so she's gonna be talking a little bit about her book, and then also she's going to help, make a res help us make a recipe on that episode as well. A little funny note on Tanya, she was actually our first ever juice bar customer. So she came into the juice bar, her and her husband, Glenn, and we really just hit it off. We formed a relationship with them. We stay in touch. Uh, they actually live in Canada. So she's going to be hosting live from Canada. Uh, so we're so excited to have her on Wednesday. 
Uh, so please join in on that episode and also share this with your family and friends where, you know, these are free classes. We're trying to get the word out, um, share healthy recipes worldwide. So um, share, share us with your family and friends and all we need is their email and we can get them all signed up and get them the link for the next class. So I hope you all enjoyed class today. Um, I hope some of you will try this smoothie. It's so delicious and so healthy for you. Um, and that's all I have for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and unmute everyone to see, so I can say hi to everybody. Let's see. All right. Hi, Mimi. Pretty color. Uh, uh, uh. We want to save it. <laughs> You're going to save it? Yeah. You can eat it later. You can drink it later, right? Have it later. Just like me. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. So delicious. It's really delicious. Oh, good. Yeah. Can you I'm have the flower? Hi, Mimi. Yeah. Hi, Mimi. Come here. That's awesome. Yeah, Hi, Hayden. Oh my 